Hi, my name is Emiko Matsumoto. I'm a lecturer at the Faculty of International Liberal Arts in Nintendo University. It's a medical university in Japan. I'm also a third year student in a doctoral course in Mesa University. Nice to meet you. The title of my presentation is Toward the New Concepts of Needs Analysis. English for Medical Professionals in Japan. This study is part of an attempt to conduct needs analysis to explore what is needed in curriculum for English education in medical schools to develop English programs in Japan as my doctoral dissertation. This preliminary study is also to categorize a study of English for medical purposes in the field of English for specific purposes. Needs analysis has been key, con key concept in discussing English for specific purposes. Several authors have emphasized the dynamic position that needs analysis holds in syllabus design and curriculum development, particularly for English for specific purposes. Then, what is English for specific purposes? Richard and Schmidt defined it as the role of English in a language course or program of instruction in which the content and aims of the course are fixed by the specific needs of a particular group of learners. With that definition, we understand that in knowing the needs of a particular group of learners, needs analysis is necessary. Hutchinson and Waters argued that English for specific purposes is a learner-centered approach which aims to meet the language needs of particular learners. Hutchinson and Walters argued in 1987 that English for specific purposes is a learner-centered approach which aims to meet the language needs of particular learners. Hutchinson and Walters got across the target language needs analysis process through three distinctive issues. A, necessities. This is what is English needed for. B, lacks. Is what learners do not know. And it refers to the gap between what the learners know already and what they need at the present time. C, wants. Is that learners feel they need. It refers to particular needs of the particular learners. Accordingly, Needs analysis and English for specific purposes are intimately interlinked. As Brown introduced in 2013, the topic of English for specific purposes often roughly subdivide ESP into two purposes, English for academic purposes and English for occupational purposes. Figure one, illustrate this division of ESP into e EAP and EOP. Further, as shown in figure two, EAP can also be divided into third level categories of English for science and technology, English for social science purposes, and English for humanities. In addition, EOP can be divided into various categories like English for medical purposes, hotel services, construction purposes, and others. Even further, the third level categories can also be divided into the fourth level categories. For example, you see them in the figure three. The third level category can be subdivided into the fourth level categories of English for hard sciences and engineering. With engineering further subdivided into civil, mechanical, electrical, chemical, aeronautical, and so on. Now that we know each subcategory in the subcategory is divided into the fourth level, the next question is, are these subcategories mutually exclusive 
Although each subcategory in the fourth level has its own distinct rhetorical structure, organizational principles, and vocabulary items, in reality, it is more complicated because some of the characteristics of these subcategories may overlap with the other structures. If I put these subcategories of English in medical, medical purposes, they can be divided into doctors, nurses, emergency medical technicians, dentists, veterinarians, x-ray technicians, hospice care workers, counselors, and so forth. As Brown suggested, sometimes it is useful to think of the various English purposes as distinct and different while other times it is useful to think those different purposes may overlap with the English of the other specific purposes. So I suggest that to investigate needs analysis of English for medical purposes, we'll be able to apply for the English for other specific areas. By the way, in my current university, Juntendo, I'm working at the Faculty of International Liberal Arts, one of the seven departments. Six other departments are all related with medicine. Most faculty members other than our English team all have a medical background and many of them are medical doctors. So my workplace itself is doctor's community. That's one of the reasons why I'd like to know the needs of doctor's community. In the past, Around the beginning of the year 2000s, strong emphasis on the needs analysis has been put on the analysis of language use, such as usage of grammar and vocabulary, according to Long 2005. However, there are quite a few things other than language that play a role as a professional worker in a hotel, such as how to behave and how to act. Thus, People should be sensitive to what other people want. This natural sensitivity is included as the notion of literacy, argued by Rebecca Jasso Aguilar 2005. Then, Rebecca Jasso Aguilar broadened the view of needs analysis to include the concept of literacy. Moreover, there are some needs, there are some needs that cannot be analyzed only by using literacy as a framework. For example, in an English classroom, understanding and learning the language is the aim of English classes. However, to behave as a doctor, understanding and looking at the situation beyond the language is needed. This will lead to the concept of cognition in time and space. The purpose of my dissertation is to grasp and discuss the needs holistically, not in a narrow sense. In the past, various researchers have attempted to explore needs analysis linguistically. Even so, this traditional way of needs analysis would not cover the needs of general learners, regardless of students in medical student, medical schools, especially in medical universities, Teaching only conventional English languages and ignoring the practical work of doctors is not enough for living in the medical community where medical doctors are relatively and equally decent at using English. So to see the needs analysis from broader perspectives is necessary. According to Branton 2009, there are two approaches to the learner needs a narrow approach and a broad approach. This chart illustrates a relation of two approaches introduced by Branton 2009. In the figure I presented above, there are three, three oval shapes that are overlapping each other. In each oval, I put the words literacy, identity, and cognition. I'll explain the detail of the world was in the oval shapes in my dissertation. I've already corrected data 
by interviews, questionnaires, participant observations. However, today I will introduce part of my data as my interim study before the dissertation. Before introducing part of my data, I will show you the research question for my dissertation. One, what are the discourse community of medical doctors and how the literacy, identity, and cognition in time and space of medical doctors? Two, how the multidimensional needs analysis needs of medical doctors can be applied to English for medical purposes in Japan. For this study, data has been obtained from several sources to make the data collection method more reliable. According to Long, 2005, triangulation involves the researchers comparing different sets and sources of data with one another to increase the credibility of their data so as to increase the credibility of the interpretation, interpretation of those data. Thus, in the current research, the data comes from in-depth interview with 11 medical professionals working at hospitals and research institutions, participant observation with 13 medical doctors followed by questions and interactions by emails, and questionnaire for 81 students in health and science department in Juntendo University. Involved in the current research were 11 medical doctors. Here, I placed the list of the 11 participants and their gender, age, and affiliation. Real names have been replaced by pseudonyms. The interview was conducted for six days from March 4th, 2020 to January 21st, 2022. And the total length of the interview was approximately 11 hours and 45 minutes. Participant observation was conducted on May 14th and May 15th, 2022 in Kyoto. The third World Congress of Endoscopy was taking place. Today, it will too premature to conclude my doctoral paper. I will show you just one, my, one of my midterm findings and enjoy this presentation. As a great opportunity to share how I analyze and recognize the doctor's utterances, I will show just several sample data from the interview. As one of the research methods, semantic cluster analysis is used. So there is one finding. Doctors who recognize himself as inefficient in communication use visually and physically feasible communication materials and tools and make the communication successful. There is a doctor I interviewed with. His name is Kataoka. Kataoka is a specialized prosodontic dentist who lives in San Antonio and works for San Antonio University. Four years ago, he was a student of me, the researcher. He was studying for taking TOEFL test to pass his current orthodontic special course in Tokyo. I met him as a TOEFL teacher in Japan. After that, he became a dentist in San Antonio. And this year, in the interview session, he told me he wanted to give good smile with beautiful teeth to the patient. What he told me was before patient choose to take his orthodontic dental treatment, usually it takes him several hours to explain his treatment because treatment is expensive. It will take more than $35,000 and more than two years to take orthodontic treatment of Mr. Kataoka. He said he knows he can give perfect treatment to the patient. He can give perfect treatment to the patient. But if he explains to his patient only by his English, patient wouldn't understand how great the treatment is. So to inform the patient how good his treatment would be, during the counseling, Dr. Katoka makes denture a model of a beautiful line of teeth and place them into the patient's mouth. That's what he told me. This is the first 
picture. The first picture is a patient. Mr. Kataoka's patient. This is me. Mr. Kataoka's patient. When she came to his clinic, she wanted to get beautiful smile. She wanted to smile beautifully. So she bought the teeth model from Amazon. She bought a teeth model like this from Amazon internet site and placed the model into her mouth. But it didn't work well to get a good smile. So the dentist, Kataoka, thought rather than explaining by his poor English, he made a denture. This is the model, the teeth model, and placed into the patient's mouth. On the day of the wearing this teeth model to try, the patient seemed to felt very excited and she wore beautiful makeup of her face. She made a beautiful makeup. So, see, this picture are shot on the day of the trying on the teeth. The dentist Kataoka said the patient decided to take his treatment by paying a huge amount of money and now she became his loyal customer. Now, weeks has passed after the treatment. It's almost finished. The patient can smile even without full makeup of her face. In the Zoom session with my interview, with doc Dr. Kataoka and me, he told me that in the school of dentistry in Japan, the education is more like a preparatory school just to pass for the national dentist test. He hopes the dentistry to nurture future dentist that should be considered in the educational system in Japan, he told me. So another short example that showed the identity of a medical doctor is here. When I interviewed with the doctor, one doctor mentioned, well, listen to the patient's appeal is important. Another medical doctor says, first of all, listening is important. To understand what the patient want to say is necessary for medical doctors. So, um, another finding is several doctors say listening to patients' idea and understand the feel their emotion is important. The finding from contents of several doctors' utterances that listening to patients' vo voice and feeling patients' thoughts are important gave me deep insights into what we understood from the current study and what is expected for my future study. When the participant participants say listening, that does not mean auditory, auditory skills. Rather, listening means communication skills. Some doctors showed some implications of the importance of mutual communication. More samples should be collected for the resources of the research in the future. I'll conclude today's report by showing how I'm going to develop my doctoral research in the next academic year. So I'd like to know what, what are the good ways to teach these skills in medical schools in my future research. Thank you so much.